This is a topic that I think I have a lot of thoughts on and could go into detail with, so I'm going to talk about it and share my opinions. I had a hunch that this might reach some people outside of my intended audience, so if that's you, I'd encourage you to watch through the video and listen to what I have to say before instantly defaulting to degrading my value as a human being. Can't force you or anything, but I would really appreciate that. Because maybe I can change your mind. Also, maybe not, but give me a shot. <laughs> I've always kind of thought that it's odd that furries get as much hatred on the internet as they do. They're kind of just universally disliked, spare for the people who are actively in the community, and that always felt a little strange to me because the majority of furries I've met were insanely nice, supportive, inclusive, and of course had a shit ton of fucking money. Like, Jesus Christ, furries are rich, dude. I boiled it down to a main reason. A lot of people just don't really know what a furry actually is. <laughs> The definition is so blurred, and there's a lot of misconceptions, and I think a lot of the dislike towards the fandom kind of stems from that as a whole. There are other reasons I can think of, but I'd say this is definitely the main one. So what is a furry then? I'll start by telling you what a furry is not. They're not zoophiles, as in people who have, you know, sexual relationships with animals. <laughs> in fact, I would go as far to say that a majority of furries absolutely hate zoophiles, just as much as you and I do. The minority who actually do this kind of bullshit gets shat on to oblivion by other people in the fandom because it's awful and it has nothing to do with being a furry. They also don't think they're animals. There is another word for people who believe they are spiritually animals, which I believe is other kin. I don't know anything about that though, to be honest. Um, but that doesn't equal furries. These are different words. They also don't shit in litter boxes. I don't really know where that came from, but old men are convinced, so I thought I'd point that out. They aren't exclusively people who own a fursuit. Many furries don't have or want a fursuit. If I were to make up my definition, I would say the furry is anyone who voluntarily interacts with the fandom, either by looking at or making artwork, buying or selling art, or just consuming the media in general. Of course, there are people who may fit in with this definition who don't want to be associated with that label, and that's fine too. Most of the time, the reason an artist doesn't want to be considered a furry is because of all the shitty stuff associated with it, to be honest. <laughs> I think another reason people hate furries is because of the small minority that is really, really annoying. <laughs> As in people with very little sense of boundaries who have horrible opinions that make people really uncomfortable, and they force these things down your throat. I'm not denying these people exist. They do. And I see why you may hate them. I do too, a lot of the time. And you may be wondering, uh, well, if you keep saying these are minorities, then why is it I keep seeing these people all over the internet and in public spaces? And my reasoning for that is that they're just really loud about it, honestly. I promise you that a vast majority of furries are just random artists who happen to like drawing walking animals and can be super cool people. You might not even know that they're furries sometimes. Like, your dentist could be a furry. <laughs> a lot of people who I see patriotically hating furries can't even tell you an actual reason why, and they just do so because it's what everyone else does. This might sound cringe, but if that sounds like you, then maybe, uh, don't do that. It creates really irritating stereotypes that hurt my business, like, fuck off, I'm trying to make money here. But actually, it really makes it difficult just to be an artist who happens to like drawing furries when you just get relentlessly shit on when you haven't even done anything wrong, or have never interacted with the person commenting who despises your existence for no clear reason. I never understood the concept of people who hate furries choosing to interact with them anyway. Like, if you don't like furries, whatever, go ahead, but literally nothing is forcing you to look at their work. If it pops up in your timeline, whatever, just keep scrolling. Clicking on it and interacting with it is only going to put more posts like that in your recommended anyways, and you commenting about how much you despise them is probably not going to stop them from doing what they're doing either. It makes no sense at all to me. <laughs> I think in general, if you dislike furries because you've had a bad experience or bad experiences with them, then that's fine, it makes sense. But there's a difference between choosing to ignore a group of people because they make you uncomfortable, and going out of your way to make their lives miserable, even if they themselves haven't actually done anything to accept upset you. I don't like the concept of pulling the minor card, but I do think it's important to understand that a lot of furries are just kids. <laughs> I don't even know what a furry was, and that the creatures I drew could be considered furries until sometime in middle school. Furries have existed for a while in media and culture, and I think a lot of people started drawing furries or got into the furry fandom without even realizing because they liked the guys from Robin Hood or something. <laughs> that might not be the origin story for everyone, but I can most certainly say that Disney movies kind of influenced my interests quite a bit. This sounds really weird. I, I think if you've only dipped your toes into the fandom, you'd be surprised how many furries are actually just interesting and rather normal people. 
And I am not one of them, but I assume that they're out there. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I really had to say for this video. I'm a little sick right now, so if my voice sounds a little different, then that's probably why. The reason I didn't post a video last week was because I had family members over and they were kind of staying in my room and it would have been awkward to go get my laptop and the mic and everything, so I thought I might as well just take a break that week. My Twitch is very close to 100 followers, by the way, so I'm going to casually beg for you to follow, and I recommend you go give that a look if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.